Liberty. Well, Black Adam finally hit theaters and it was a lot better than I expected. So the film opens up in Kondok a long, long time ago. There was a king named Octan who enslaved his own people to mine for a mineral called Eternium, which was said to have magical properties. One of the slaves found a piece of the mineral and was executed for wanting a prize for being the one who found it. Then, a young boy revolted against the tyranny of the king, trying to rally everyone to rise up against him. But, just before he was executed, he was transported to the lair of Shazam, the wizard from the Shazam film, who granted the boy the same power that he gave to Billy Batson. Meanwhile, the king had the Eternium fashioned into a crown called the Crown of Sabak, which was then infused with the power of six demons. With the new power, the boy returned to Kondok and defeated the king, and then was never heard from again. We then go to modern day, where Kondok has become controlled by a crime syndicate called the Inner Gang, who are hunting for the crown. They're basically holding everyone in town as prisoners. A young boy named Amon is trying to stand up against Inner Gang. His mother, Adriana, and her group of archaeologists go to an ancient ruin where the crown is said to be kept. She finds it, but not before the syndicate almost kill them. And just then, Adriana realizes they're in the tomb of Teth Adam, Kondok's champion from centuries earlier, and she awakens him to save the group. He makes quick work of Inner Gang, killing them all rather quickly. This gains the attention of Amanda Waller, who sends in the Justice Society to apprehend Teth Adam, before things get out of hand. The team consists of Hawkman, Dr. Fate, Adam Smasher, and Cyclone. Hawkman explains to Adriana that Teth Adam is not a hero and needs to be stopped immediately. But she's so damn stubborn and just wants her country to be liberated by Teth Adam. And honestly, he's not really trying to save anyone. He's more out for himself. So this puts Hawkman and Teth Adam at odds and they beat the shit out of each other quite a few times. Then, one of Adriana's colleagues, Ishmael, is revealed to be not only the leader of Inner Gang, but also the last descendant of the king, Octan, seeking the crown for himself. So, he kidnaps Amon and barters a trade for the crown. When Teth Adam and the Justice Society show up, Ishmael tricks them and nearly shoots Amon. Teth Adam saves him, using his full power and destroys the hideout, killing Ishmael and badly hurting Amon. Feeling remorseful for hurting the kid, Teth Adam retreats to the ruins of Octon's kingdom, where he reveals to Hawkman that he was not the true champion of Kondog. It was his son, Harut. Back in the beginning, knowing that Harut had the true power of Shazam, the king targeted his parents and nearly killed his father. So to save him, Harut transferred his power into his father, but died in the process. This awoke a rage in Teth Adam, and he used Shazam's power to kill the king and all of his men. Following this, the Council of Wizards deemed Teth Adam not worthy and attempted to take the power away. A battle ensued and the only wizard left standing was Shazam, who imprisoned Teth Adam in a tomb, which is where Adriana found him. After telling his story, Teth Adam surrendered to Hawkman and was imprisoned in a Task Force X facility underwater, without his powers. With Ishmael dying while wearing the crown, he was resurrected as the champion of the six demons, Sabak, and wanted Kondok's throne for himself. As demons run rampant on the streets, Amon rallies the town people to fight back. Meanwhile, the Justice Society head to fight Sabak. Dr. Fate frees Teth Adam from captivity and then fights Sabak on his own, resulting in his death. Which is weird because he's Dr. Fate and you didn't think he would die so easily, but he does. Earlier in the movie, he had a premonition that Hawkman would die fighting Sabak, so he died in his place to prevent it. Then, Teth Adam shows up, and he and the Justice Society fight Sabak. Finally back at full power, Teth Adam literally rips Sabak in half. And afterward, he's deemed the new ruler of Kondok, now going by Black Adam. In a mid credit scene, we see Amanda Waller telling Black Adam that he cannot leave Kondok, and if he does, there will be consequences. Just as he's about to challenge her, Superman shows up and says they need to talk. The end. Alright, so where to begin? I think I only hated this one because they overhyped it for years. But I guess I can see why. It was actually pretty good. The Rock was awesome and the story was pretty good too. 
It also gave us an explanation as to what happened to the other council members, because in Shazam, the one wizard was by himself. I can't say that I liked Amon all that much. That little kid was annoying as hell, and yeah, I wasn't really feeling it. In the villain, eh, I guess. Sabak, I'm not really sure of like the whole like story behind him, but Black Adam did rip his ass in half, so there's that. You know, originally, I thought Hawkman was going to be the villain, but I guess I was wrong. One highlight of the movie was how Adam Smasher kind of reminded me of Deadpool with like his funny comebacks and stuff, and Dr. Fate. He was pretty much amazing. Pierce Brosnan kicks ass. The one fight scene between him and Sabacc reminded me a lot of the one between Doctor Strange and Thanos. It was pretty similar, honestly. And I have to give Dwayne Johnson some credit. He kept on and on with DC to bring Henry Cavill back as Superman, even after all the shit that happened with the Snyder Cut. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you later.